there! I'd like to take a moment just to show you a great new feature that was added in Visual Studio 2013 called Peak Definition. We've all had to go digging through code where we have one class calling a method from another class, calling a method from another class. And whether it's somebody else's code or our own code we just haven't looked at in a while, sometimes we just need to look up the code that's being called. So I have here a, a very simple application. It's an application, a phone app I'm writing that helps me calculate my mileage when I'm doing my running and convert between miles an hour and kilometers an hour and calculate my running pace. And I've gone and I've written some code and I've created this pace converter class, but I haven't looked at it in a while, so I don't remember what the pace per kilometer method does. Now in the past, we would usually use the F12 key, or if you right click, that's the go to definition, which will take us to that method. But there's one drawback to using go to definition. And I'm just going to zoom out again so you can see what happens. When I use the go to definition, or F12, it actually opens up a brand new window and takes me to the pace converter window. Now, that's great because it is taking me to the method definition that I was referencing, but then I have to keep going back to the original code I was in the middle of editing. This is where peak definition really shines. There's a new option now. When we zoom in and look at the menu, Right above go to definition, you can see peak definition. And if you like keyboard shortcuts, it's just Alt F12. Click on that, and what happens is you once again get to see the definition of the method you're calling, or the code of the method you're calling, but it opens it up in line right inside the code window itself. So you never leave the class you're already modifying or the code you're already modifying. And you can go and you can scroll through that code. You can even edit that code if you want to add comments, make changes, test it out. Another thing that's kind of neat is if there is a method call that you want to drill down to in the one you're accessing, you can actually do an additional peak definition and you can actually do nested calls to go to another layer. When you do this, you'll notice at the top that a little breadcrumb is added that allows you to navigate between the different levels of your nesting. To close the peak definition, all you do is hit the escape key if you're a keyboard person, or you can just click on the X. So there you have it, peak definition, your new best friend.